and uh, just using the using our ponchos in many, one of the many ways that they can be used. As you know, if you follow us very long, you know that our PSS series of ponchos can be used not only as a poncho, they can be used as a tarp with 12 tie-out points around the edge, can be used as a hammock, very nice comfortable hammock, uh, can be used as a uh, super shelter, uh, part of a super shelter, um, it can be used as a Yukon chair, it can be used as a swinging chair like this one, and uh, many, many ways to use it. Let me show you another way that you can use our PSS series of uh, ponchos. All right, so I brought this uh, poncho filled with water over here, hung it up onto this, hung it up onto this tree here. I've just got my stick right here I was carrying it with. I just slung it over the tree. It's got enough weight to hold it. I got two to three gallons of water inside of here. All right, so I just hike along this thing. I find me a tree with a branch, something like that. I can just hang that thing up. I just hang this thing up just like that. I have my water sitting right here in my poncho. And uh, this works great. Now, now I'm in camp, I got stuff to work with. Now, it's easy to, uh, it's easy to access your water. Because you just reach right in there. It's just right there. I could, I could dip out with a cup or whatever I want to. A lot of ways I can access that water that's just sitting right there. All right, so this poncho that I'm demonstrating here on, this is a PSS, and it's, it's even front and back. So what I've done is this thing would be laid out like this, and I've just folded it in half. So see, here's the hood right here. So I just folded it in half down. Now, if you have a an XL, an XL will work the same as this. A PSSL will be a little bit different because the back's a foot longer than the front. But essentially you just do it the same way. It's just, it's just a little bit off that way. But all we're really trying to do here is I have got a piece of parachute cord, which every poncho comes with two 20-footers. So this is one 20-foot uh, parachute cord and what I've done is I've strung this cord starting at the shoulder here and I've gone all the way around through all the tabs. Now you see uh, when you fold it in half you got two tabs side by side the front tab the back one you run it through both of them and so you go all the way around running it through both tabs the shoulders of course you only have one that it goes through there so <clears throat> So essentially what we're trying to do, trying to make it so what we're going to do is we're going to scoop up water into here, then we're going to grab this cord and as we pull up on it, it'll cinch up all the sides and leave the water in the middle. So you can put anywhere from, you know, well you can put as a cup in there, but you can put anywhere from one or two gallons up to maybe three or four gallons of water in here using this method. You might could put more than that even, you know, if you can handle it, if you can deal with it. Now, now you see right here is a snap in the chest, uh, right here, and a snap on the hood. Now if you're just going to carry a gallon or two of water, I just lay the cord, the parachute cord, right there between those two snaps. I come down, snap it. Okay, so now when I now when I grab this, this is going to act like a tab because I've connected it through here. So that'll gather this up as it gathers up all the outside and brings it all together, leaving your water in a reservoir in the middle. Now, if you're going to be, you're going to be carrying, a, say, a longer distance or, you know, say you're going to throw this on a, hang it from a pack or a shoulder, carry it on a stick like I did, whatever you might be doing, you might, uh, you're, gonna, you're probably not going to want to rely 
solely on this chestnut. So what I do there is cinch down your hood all the way. So I've got that cinched all the way down. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, just take and tie off. I don't need much. I can even make a slippery or something like that right there. Okay. And I can tie it off again if I want or whatever. But now, when I gather that up, that'll slide through here. All my, all my edges will cinch right up and I'll be good to go. Now what I like, now what you may want to do before you get all of this, I don't like to have all this cord loose when I go down to get my water. So I usually come up somewhere that seems reasonable and uh, and then just pull me off a little something like that right there. That'll be a little something I can grab onto. That'll give me something. Now when this fills with water and I cinch it all up, that'll all just suck out of here. Then I can retie the knot shorter or if you're gonna hang it on a stick, however you're gonna carry it, you can you can kind of make that adjustment at the time. But this is a very effective way to uh, carry a good bit of water if you need to. Um, even if you're not in a situation where uh, you're in the southwest or somewhere like us where we have places with not much of any water, um, you know, many times you, where your camp is may not be able to be convenient to water. So you could come down, you could get you three or four gallons of water, carry it back to camp, hang it up in the tree, and, uh, and you're good to go. So. So basically you see this thing just gathers up like that and that would be, that whole thing would just be full of water and uh, like I say, three possibly four gallons of water depending on how you do it and that works very nicely. Okay now that we've uh, tied up our cordage, now that we've tied up our cordage on here, what I want to do is I like to grab the the bottom edge of this thing and I'll just step out into the water here and I want to tuck it down a little and scoop. Once I've done that I grab my cordage and I pull on it we get it all like that and I've probably got I probably got three or four gallons of water in here Now, now I can carry this back to camp like this. I can tie it onto a stick. I can hang it in a tree for use or whatever I need to do. I'm good to go right here. So it's not only functional as a water carrier, but also you can do something like what I've got here. I've got a water filter that I dropped down inside of here. And now I can just, uh, so you see right here, I can just, I could fill up I could fill a pot I could fill a canteen I could fill a, a water bottle I could fill a hydration pack or whatever I wanted to right here just gravity feed I could fill those things just gravity feed right out of here where I could just run into another container and I can let that run while I'm doing something else I don't have to sit there and pump something or whatever I don't have to wait around you know, as you can see from the flow from this, I have, I have plenty of, I, I get water in plenty of time, no problem at all. So I've got my container hanging, my poncho hanging in the tree with two to three gallons of water. And uh, down here, there's my, that's a three-eighths, that's a three-eighths inch, inch hose, quarter inch ID. As you can see, it wouldn't take me long to fill up something with that stream right there. And this is absolutely no effort whatsoever, just using gravity. All right, so let me just show you. I'm not going to do the whole tutorial on how to do this, but I might do another video, but just to quickly show you. So what I've got is, a, I don't know how you pronounce it actually. I call it catadine or catadine or whatever. I don't know what you call it. 
This is a replacement filter for a for a uh, large uh, seven gallon water uh, carrier, and I just uh, took it out of took it out of there. And I took me instead of putting the spout into here, I went to the hardware store and got me a fitting that came out of there, and I wanted to have a 90 degree elbow, so it, it works better to lay so it lays down in your in your water reservoir like this. It works better to lay sideways like that. So I got a 90. I got me some clear vinyl tube, plugged it onto there, several feet long, and that's enough to do the trick right there. There is one more thing that I thought of that I should mention in reference to using your poncho in this fashion. This works very nicely because of the size of the poncho, um, the size of the poncho kind of lends itself to make this work pretty well, very easily. Uh, but anyway, the thing I wanted to get at was uh, all, all the all tarp fabrics that we purchase are all rated from the manufacturer uh, to be used as ponchos or tarps or that sort of thing. They're all they're all uh, rated as being water waterproof to that point. Now there is something about waterproofing, and that is most most. Uh, most of your nylon fabrics, lightweight nylon fabrics, although they may work well as a tarp or a poncho, they may not hold pressure well, which that's a whole different ball game when you're saying you've got to hold pressure. When you're carrying water like this, uh, you're actually exerting far more pressure on the, uh, on the waterproofing than you would if you were uh, just had it up in rain, just running off of it. So. Some fabrics may weep a little bit, um, just just the nature of things. So you may you may try this a little first before you get out and depend upon it. But mostly just to give you a, an idea, all of our siliconized fabrics they're going to work very very well. Our fabrics that have uh, extra coatings on them, uh, for example, like our multicam, our uh, woodland TBO our Marpat, all of those fabrics have additional coatings as part of the fabric which basically adds more ability to contain water than our lighter weight products that just have a, they have kind of a light polyurethane coating or, or something of that nature on them and they are perfectly suited for for rain gear it's just this a different application when you start using the gear to hold pressure containing water. So just a little tip at the end just for your just for your own uh, knowledge there. Hey this is Perry Peacock Wilderness Innovation with a little tip another another use that you can put your uh, poncho to your PSS series poncho from Wilderness Innovation. Another another way you can use it. And uh, you know hey why not? So, part of our series of trying to show you everything you can do, uh, so you can get out, you can get as much out of your gear as possible. So, have a great day. Enjoy your time outdoors. Uh, thank you for all your comments, shares, likes, all those sorts of things. All that helps us. Thank you for your support. All those people who purchased from us. Thank you so very much. Have a great day. Bye.